we have a mindset in Nigeria, and it's a mindset of injustice. This is the most unjust society to live in in the world. It can be on record. I've seen injustice in Nigeria. It's a very unjust society. The easiest thing in this country is possible to take an innocent and make him guilty. And those who are the guilty are the ones prosecuting the innocent. I'm not talking about this particular case. I'm just telling you my Nigerian experience. It's a very unjust society. Now, so we get into mindsets. Ah, these people are criminals. Ah, these people are Igbo people. These people are Yoruba people. They're terrible people. These people are... Let's just be rational and take issues as they come. What has been done regarding Biafra that is not done 10 times more every day in America? The only concern that I have as an individual, the, uh, and the reason that I uh, am a participant in the process of pointing it out, is that the rule of law has been broken and broken. The courts of law have said, release this man. One, first of all, on bail to face trial. You won't release him. Then it says, another court says, free, acquit this man. You, you, you refuse to. You see, it's easy because it's in Namdekano. Tomorrow it's, it's Jude. The day after, is Ogbeni, Ogbeni Oja. And I say, ha ha, these Igbo people, ah, they make too much trouble. Ah, hmm. Yoruba people. Ah. Is this uh, famous statement credited to Reverend Martin Nimola from World War II? You no, know, first, they came for the communists. And I said, hmm, those communists are terrible people. Then they came for the Jews. I said, ah, well, Thank God I'm not a Jew. Then they came for the Catholics. Say, well, I'm a Protestant. So when they came for me, when finally they came for me, there was no one left to speak up. That's the Nigerian problem. We always think it's okay when it's the other guy until they come for us. That move was a move to say tyranny is not accepted. This is a country under law. And we all, as citizens, to imprison somebody and keep him after the courts have said he's not there. It's not the incarceration of Namde Kano. It's the incarceration of Jude. It's the incarceration of Patu Tommy. It's the incarceration of all people of conscience and all people who believe in the rule of law. That's what it is. And until we begin to think broadly like that, we will not make progress as a society.